So we have our computer together. We are about to turn it on again. I just walked through what happens when you hit the F9 key um, as the server is starting for the first time. So what I'm going to do is uh, just go into another F key and kind of talk about what's happening there, look at it with you, understand it. So let's turn this thing on and um, start the process again. I've been shutting it down um, by hitting the power button and I don't know I'm, if anyone knows a way to do it through the computer because I feel like that's a better way to do it than just hitting the power button on and off. That'd be great. But uh, we'll watch it load again or boot up. Um, it takes a little bit, but I can try to create an array, uh, maybe in this video or the next video, because we need to build um, kind of some RAID arrays uh, with our couple drives that we have, and then install an operating system, which I'm probably just going to do um, Linux, uh, Ubuntu, so I don't know how to say it wrong. Um, yep, so everything's spinning back up again. But yeah, in order to do the install, I think I'm going to try to put it onto a jump drive and then um, the the actual operating system because you need uh, like something for this to boot from because right now we're, we're spinning it up and we're uh, starting our server and, and everything's kind of connected and going together, but it doesn't have an operating system. So, um, you know, there's Red Hat, Linux, um, you know, a few others. You can do a Windows. I'm not going to do with this. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, let's do F10. Okay, so yeah, the screen pops up. It gives you a little bit of time to choose one of these options. Yeah, it's two minutes, um, which is a little bit of time. I don't know. Just watch this thing spool up. and. Uh, but, sorry. Good deal. Looks like we're into the intelligent provisioning, so we can build our raids in here, I think. Um, okay, well let me put this on. Well, I guess it's still doing something. Once it's done, I think I can grab the mouse and keyboard and figure out, um, try to build, try to build something. Alright, so then you guys can look at my sweet shirt. <laughs> oh no, it's alright. Okay, here we go. We are in to the provisioning part. I'm learning with you, that's for sure. Oh, here we go. Alright. Let's see, we need our mouse and our keyboard, so I have my mouse right here. So there's a few different things to check. So, yeah, we'll go over this step by step now that we're here, but it looks like it does a lot of the work for you, because, uh... Oh, great, okay, so I've seen this before, um, I guess that'll walk you through uh, and get you to this point, which is kind of the user interface for um, building your your drives. So let's stop here.